Hello guys, I uh, welcome back to my channel based on African motives, still working on mathematics and two. So in this platform we shall be working on mensuration, which is another important uh, topic that we shall actually be having uh, in our syllabus that is uh, working on mensuration. So the first part that we shall focus on mensuration is the mid ordinate rule. So as we all know that we have a lot that is under mensuration areas. Uh, surface areas and volumes and also we have the mid ordinate rule so this is what you're going to focus on in this class so if you're new guys you can consider subscribing so that you won't miss any of the classes from Amazon African motives okay so this one uh, the mid ordinate rule is actually one of the important formulas that you need to know and you're actually given this formula in your formula sheet so what we have from this, we are given that our area is actually the distance between ordinates times the sum of other mid ordinates. So actually, I'm going to explain uh, these uh, formulas that you are given here. We will be given uh, ordinates, which is points in this case. Uh, let me present uh, questions how they are so that we can see how to use this formula. You will be given questions like this. Calculate the area of irregular figure in, in, in square meters. So take note, this is in square meters by using the mid ordinate rule. So they can give you a diagram like this, All right? So these are the ordinates, this one, six, eight, 10, nine, eight, six, this one. These are the ordinates. Then this five, 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 this one, the same distance that you see here, is the one which is the distance between ordinates this one okay so as we can see here on your formula it's the ordinates this part of ordinates then this part of the distance between the what the ordinates this distance this one is the one that i'm talking about this five okay so this is your first ordinate this is your last ordinate and the remaining ones are the ones i don't know guys i do not have this pencil but i wanted you to see some okay it's here this is your first ordinate here this one and this is your last ordinate which means these are the ones which are remaining these ones all right so what does this mean from our formula we are going to have remember we want to calculate the area so our area is going to be take note this is our formula guys first plus last ordinate over two okay then plus sum of all other ordinates which is the remaining this is actually the remaining ordinates all right so which are the remaining ordinates that we are talking about okay so let's start with first and last so it's first and last you add them so it's six plus six over two this is your first ordinate your last ordinate over two all right so plus the remaining take note from our formula here it's plus sum of all other ordinates other which means the remaining ones not which means the first one and the last one is not going to be taken because already you have used them so what is remaining you are going to add everything all right so guys this is it we are going to add all these ones which are remaining these ones we add them together so it's 8 plus 10 plus 9 plus 8. So take note, these are the ordinates that you're adding. 8 plus 10 plus 9 plus 8. You add all these together. All right. So this is what we have. Times the distance between the ordinates, which is this one that I, we have here. As you can see, we have same distance throughout. So this is your distance between the ordinates. So you multiply by, by five. Take note guys, times the distance between the ordinates. Okay, so that is what you're going to have in this case. So 
um, if you simplify these two here over 12 you are going to is, is 12 over 2 which is going to give us 6 plus 8 plus 10 plus 9 plus 8 okay times 5 all right so I'm going to add everything here so this is going to give us uh, 4 to 1 if I'm not mistaken times 5 then if you multiply times 5 you're going to obtain 205 okay so this is our area as we saw that these units were in meters so this area is going to be in square meters because you are given these units in meters so as you can see guys you can actually calculate area from that so now they can ask maybe like this one or number two here the area of an irregular plate is required ordinates are drawn 50 millimeters apart across the ceiling so this 50 millimeters apart this one is the distance between the ordinates all right so we are given the length of the ordinates in millimeters techno they are also in millimeters these ones just like this one so this is your first ordinate this one zero and your last or these are the most that you're supposed to take note okay take note there your first ordinate is at zero there and your last ordinate is at zero there this is your first this is your last so we can apply our formula so this was the first question let's move on to number two so using the same formula our area is going to be the first plus the last ordinate okay so even on your formula sheet this is what how they write it also as you can see first ordinate plus last ordinate over two plus sum of all other ordinates times the distance so we still have the same thing so we say it our first and last it's zero and zero there these are your first and last so you're going to add them so that's zero plus zero over two plus you add all all take note guys not some but all these remaining these ones add them together all these ones you add them you add them up to 18 so which means we have got 32 plus 42 plus 49 plus 56 plus 46 plus 30 plus 18 up to 18 like that so you add every term every number there you add everything all these numbers make sure that you don't skip any of these times 50 which is the length which is the distance between this one that i indicated before and i said the 50 millimeters apart this one is the one that you're going to to use all right so uh definitely this is going to give us a zero because as you can see this one it's a zero this one so we add all this together and you're going to obtain 311 times 50 which is going to give us 15,550 techno this is not 14,000 it's 15,550 that one which is in a square millimeters like that all right so that is our um, uh, our consideration so as you can see guys those are two typical questions uh, so as you can see these questions they do repeat uh, as you can see these ones they are repeating the same thing even there on number five we have the same thing here if you are, are to cross check in this case we've got the same thing the first ordinate the last ordinate and the distance between which is our d there so which means we have got the same thing guys one and same thing so our area there is going to be uh we add the first ordinate is first and last ordinate over two so that's zero plus zero there over two plus the sum of the remaining we've got four six eight and two so it's four plus eight plus six plus two like this 
okay these are the remaining times the height take note the common interval is the common interval that common interval is the distance between which is five so these are millimeters so you're going to obtain zero here all right you add everything you're going to obtain 20 times 5 which is going to give you 100 square millimeters like that all right so like i said guys it's the same thing even on this one so take note on this one i told you this is going to be your first ordinate and this is going to be your last ordinate all right then these are the ones which are in between these ones this is your interval as you can see it's 10 10 10 10 which is the same so this is your d which is just the common interval like this one like this number that you multiplied here so on this one you are going to multiply by by 10 so first plus last over two then you add all these ones which are in between these ones you add them together okay so you can actually try that question and see so it's the same thing even i don't know if it is going to be clear but that's what we have here sorry for this one still one in the same thing although it's an irregular shape as we can see so this will be your first ordinate this one okay and this one will be your last ordinate and these are the remaining that you add together and as you can see we are given the interval of 20 20 20 20 so these are the typical questions that you can actually have or that what you can work on so that's it guys for Maison african motives working on mathematics and two so we shall meet again as we shall be applying these formulas and everything in a separate consideration that is now working on question papers and revision so that we can actually see how they ask these questions and how are we supposed to answer these questions so till we meet again